Hi, and welcome to this PowerShell tutorial video. In this tutorial video, we will be going over how to send email with PowerShell using the mail kit. So PowerShell does have a built-in commandlet called send mail message, but that commandlet is actually obsolete and Microsoft does not rec recommend using it. Uh, and they do recommend using the mail kit because there is no other commandlet right now that replaces the send mail message. So what we're gonna be doing today is sending mail using the mail kit. And then what we're going to be doing in our next video is actually making our own module uh, and our own commandlet to send mail using the mail kit. So let's actually get started um, because we actually have two packages to install before we can use the mail kit. So the first commands we are going to have to run, and you're going to want to make sure that you're running this as administrator. So the first thing we are going to want to do is do an install let's just run them in up here so you guys can see them nicely so we're going to want to install package and we are going to do a name which is going to be the meme kit and then the source for that is going to be https colon backslash backslash www.nougat.org backslash api backslash v2 and then we are also going to add the skip dependencies parameter to the end there so let's actually run this and then it's going to ask you are you going to make sure that you want to install the software and we are going to say yes to all by typing in a and this is going to install the meme kit All right, so the meme kit is installed. Now the only thing left is installing the mail kit. Now the order of this actually does matter. You're gonna have to install the meme kit before the mail kit. Uh, so definitely do this in the same order. So the name is gonna be mail kit. And then the source is going to be the same thing. So it's gonna be HTTP, HTTPS colon backslash backslash www nougat.org backslash api backslash v2 and that one we are not going to put the parameter of skip dependencies we are just going to execute that and once again we are going to say yes to all so now it is installing the mail kit all right so now we have the two packages installed we can actually remove these two lines because we will not need them in the future but what we actually have to do is add the DLL that we have just installed into our script. So let's go ahead and let's open up a file directory in our C drive in program files. There should be a folder called package management in there. There will be a NuGet, and then in there, there's going to be packages. And here you're going to find your mail kit and your meme kit in your mail kit come into the lib folder and then the net standard 2.0 and then there's a mailkit.dll we're just going to shift right click on that and we're going to do copy as path and then in our visual studio um, code window we are going to do a add dash type and then our path and then we are just going to paste that in there and then what we need to do is we need to go back out into packages, go into the meme kit, and then go into lib, go into net standard 2.0, and then shift right click on that meme kit.dll, copy as path, and then do the same thing. So add type dash path and paste in that path. So now we've imported the meme kit and the mail kit. What I like to do is I always like to add the meme kit before the mail kit, uh, just because I installed it before. Um, I don't actually know if it makes a difference. I've never had issues either way, uh, but I just prefer always bringing in the meme kit before the mail kit. So once we add that, we can just run both of these here just to have them. And then what we're gonna wanna do, now we build out our our email message. So what we're going to want to do is we are going to want to create a variable called SMTP. And we're going to create that as a new object. 
and we're going to create it as mailkit dot net dot smtp dot smtp client and then we're going to have a message variable which that is going to be a new object and that we're going to make it a meme kit dot meme message all right and then we're going to have a builder variable and we're going to set that to a new object and we're going to set that to meme kit dot body builder all right so let's just run these so we can do the dot notations on them Perfect. So the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to add um, who is our email to and who is our email from. So let's go ahead and let's do a message dot from dot add. And we're going to add the email that it's from. So I actually created an email just for this video here. So we're going to put in test jacked programmer at outlook.com. And then our message dot to dot add. And we're going to send it to ourselves here. So there we are. So test jacked programmer. And then what we're going to do is we're going to add a subject. So message dot subject. And we're going to set that equal to test message and then what we're going to do is we're going to reference our builder now and our builder is going to have a text body and we're just going to put in here is this is a test email message and then what we can do is we can do a message dot body equals builder dot to message body open and close parentheses here and now we're going to do a smtp dot connect and then in here we have to put our smtp server and port so let's go ahead and we can actually see if we do dot connect. So here we can actually see it takes in a post, a port, and a mail kit security socket option. Um, so what we're going to want to do is we are going to want to go ahead and do smtp dash mail dot outlook.com and we're going to do that on port 587 and we're going to do a false at the end here and then what we're going to do is we're going to do smtp dot authenticate and then in here we are going to put our user account but as we've already seen in a previous video we've seen how to actually secure this uh, connection here so what we're going to want to do is let's just go ahead and let's just create our object here. So let's just go and do a get credential, pipe that to export cli XML. And then our path that we're going to export that to is going to be C scripts, send email. And we're going to send that to Outlook dot xml and then we're going to run that here now our user is going to be test jacked programmer at outlook.com and then the password is going to be really hope I spelt that properly. All right, so now we have 
our file already in there. So now what we're going to do is we're going to bring it in. So we're going to do account. It's going to be equal to import apply XML. And we're going to put in the path of C scripts and email outlook.xml. Once we have that here, so now we're going to see we have our username and password. So now what we can do here is we should be able to go ahead and create our object here. So let's go and do our authentication. Now, I don't know if the authentication can actually accept a secure string here. So let me just see if it can, because um, I don't actually know. It does say that it does take a credentialed object. So let's see if it does. Uh, so we'll test this out together here. So we have our account. And then what we're going to do is we're going to create a my credentials. My credential is going to be equal to a new object. And then the type name for that is going to be system dot management dot automation dot PS credential. And then our argument list is going to be account dot username. And then account dot password. So if we run this here and we look at this object, now we have our credential object. And I believe you could probably just pass in account here. But if you ever did need to create a credential object, that's how you would do it. And then if we do a SMTP dot send message and then smtp dot disconnect true and then we're going to do a smtp dot dispose so we properly get rid of the variables here all right so let's see if this all works out for us. Oops, and I guess I should do a SMTP. TP, I'm just gonna make sure all these are the same here. Right, so now that I've picked that typo, we could do the dispose. And now if we look at this email here, and here we are, here is the test message that we have just sent ourselves at 124. So here we are, so now we can actually do this all over again. So we can actually get rid of my credentials this was just simply to show you guys how to create a credential object off of an X, off of an XML. But if you just do the import CLI XML, it is already a credential object. Um, but if for some reason you do need to ever create one, that is how you create one. And we just passed in our account directly in there. So let's go ahead and let's run this again. And there we are, there's our results. And here is our second email. You saw it come in. So that is how you would send an email with PowerShell using the mail kit. Uh, so this is fully secured. We aren't storing the password anywhere in here. It is in that CLI XML file. The only thing that is in clear text is that email, um, which is perfectly fine. Um, and then our SMTP server, which is great as well. So everything is there. Now, in the next video, I will be showing you guys how to use the mail kit uh, in a module format. So we're going to be creating our own commandlet to directly replace or almost directly replace 
the send mail message. So I'll be showing you guys how to add attachments to these emails, showing you guys how to do an HTML uh, email as well using the mail kit. But this is just the basic how to send an email with the mail kit. So if you guys have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment below. I will be putting in the description uh, the two lines for the install packages. Uh, so you guys don't have to remember those. I will be putting those in the description. And hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, hit that notification button to be notified when that next video comes out. And I will see you guys on the next video.